So I got an email. Well, actually I got two emails because I wrote back after the first one. Asked for, I asked for information because I thought this, this must be a joke. Um, okay, let me get straight to the point. A Norwegian filmmaker, he wanted to make a TV series based on my Jomsviking or Jomsviking novels with um, with the help of or the assistance of the Saudi Saudi Arabian royal family. Okay, <laughs> I know it's it's very far out. It's okay. So so apparently, according to him and according to other sources, because I've double checked. Uh, Saudi Arabia is building a film industry and and they're using their oil money on this and part of the reason why they're doing this is that they want to improve um, the perception of Islam in in the West like you know <laughs> uh, Europe and North America and so on Um, and this guy, he wanted to make a TV series script or screenplay uh, based on my Jums Viking novels, but it, they, it would be rewritten. And the idea was either to change some of the characters so that they would be Muslim or add Muslim characters. <laughs> Uh, now, okay, um, just to get everything straight here. Um, the Vikings, they had lots of dealings with Muslim people, of course, you know, they were trading and so on. So, um, it would be quite credible actually to have Muslim characters in a uh, Viking Age uh, setting, you know, if you traveled south, you would, you know, eventually you would meet Muslim people. And, and probably you had some traders moving north and so on. But the problem here is that this guy had the audacity su to suggest that my novels would be used as propaganda for the Saudi Arabian uh, rulers um, no <laughs> no <laughs> um, it's actually quite difficult to record this because I feel like screaming I feel like screaming no and also you know I guess there's a lot of money in things like that. But if you add all the money that Saudi Arabia has uh, earned on oil since they discovered oil there, I don't know how, how far back we would have to go, but you know, if you add all that money in a big pile, if you put all that money in a big pile, it still wouldn't be enough for me to say yes to something like that. It's just... No, <laughs> no, no. Now I didn't reply to that email because you know you need to be above a certain level of uh, politeness, I guess, uh, and that you know some something like that is you know it's a big no no. You, you don't do that. You know it, it's you, you just don't do that. Um, and and. Of course, uh, when you when you adapt uh, books for you know for the screen, um, you do you make changes because it's a different format, right? But making changes and big changes like that, in order to do propaganda 
for basically the, the Saudi royal family and their uh, very special um, and very conservative version of Islam. Uh, I believe it's called Wahhabism. That's where you, you know, you chop people's head off and so on. Um, no. No. <laughs> um, and I know that there are lots of people, you know, uh, influencers, you know, influencers. That's what, what they call them, influencers. Uh, they are being, uh, you know, invited to Saudi Arabia and they uh, take uh, pictures of themselves in, in, you know, in their bikini and, and so on and, uh, on Instagram and, you know, it's all, it's all wonderful and beautiful and all that. But listen, Saudi Arabia, it's, it's, it's one of the worst despotic uh, dictatorship states in the world. And it's a highly racist country and it's a highly um just you know how they treat women is disgusting it's disgusting and you know i'm going to give the saudi royal family and all the other bastards down there i'm going to give them some uh, advice in this video right now and it's for free yeah if someone steals something you don't chop their hand off right you, you if if a woman is or someone you know man or woman is um unfaithful you don't drag them out in the street and uh and uh whip them you should start treating people with respect and uh hey maybe the perception of your whole country would become much better here in the West and of course I know that me saying this it's not going to change anything Saudi Arabia is still going they, they're still going to keep going and they're going probably going to succeed in building that film industry and they will uh, continue flying in celebrities I know this guy Jason Momoa he was there uh, shining uh, light on the on the royal family, Saudi royal family and the film film industry in Saudi Arabia, you know, and uh, I'm sure he got paid a lot of money. Um, but there is something called integrity that we have here in the West. And um, it's a concept that might be a little bit uh, difficult for uh, um, spoiled um, Saudi princes to grasp integrity. We're not for sale, and especially those of us who self-identify, self-identify, <laughs> yeah, as uh, Norsemen, we are not for sale. You hear me? We are not for sale. Now, if you ask me what an offer like that makes me feel, you know, uh, I feel disgusted. Because I put my heart and soul into my novels. And I'm quite surprised. Um, I'm quite surprised that I got a, you know, an offer like that. It's um, me of all people. Why? It's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's insane. It's insane. It's just insane. You know, so, so there you have it. There you have it. If that's not a proof that there are people out there trying to rewrite Viking history, I don't know what is. They want to use Viking history to improve the perception of Wahhabism, their uh, very conservative medieval age style uh, version of Islam uh, to improve uh, the perception of that in the West so yeah you know it's disgusting <laughs> it's disgusting <laughs> yeah yeah some days I, I, I don't even know what to say but anyway 
that's uh, that's all for now and um, I hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comments and uh, we'll talk soon have a wonderful day stay strong bye